Welcome to Seattle. James Sabalski with you here for EA Sports, and we are ready to get cracking on the ice tonight. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Kraken have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. With the stop. Puck grab by McCann. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Seattle's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Tobin. And inside the offensive zone. Here he is, shoving in front. Too much traffic in the lane. Takes a shot. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. Barzell's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Down the right side and into the zone. In front of the net, shot! Played big in the moment there. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Pelek's body language says it all. He is frustrated. And anytime you're on a team, you want to contribute, especially when you know what you can do. You're a confident player, but all of a sudden, the stick gets a little bit tighter. Habits are a great thing. Numbers are another. Seattle's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Takes it and looks ahead. Shot. That's gloved by Barlama. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Nelson's won it in their own end. Tries to get the puck over to Engvall. Grubauer's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Veneers wins the defensive zone faceoff. New York's got possession at center. Picked up along the boards by Romanov. Pajot's moving the puck through his own zone. Here they come on the attack down the right side. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Quick feed to Everly. Nice feed as center moves up ahead now. Moves it to Pajo. New York's gained the line and into the zone. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Jubilin. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Slides the puck over to Tanev. Textbook poke check by Romanov. New York's got it along the wall. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Takes a shot. And that's blocked in traffic. Taken by Dobson. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And the puck's booted away. Here's a short pass to Dobson. And just like that, comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Denies him with the save. Scrum along the boards. Great read with the stick. Oh, the home team is reeling here inside the defensive zone, and the fans are nervous. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Quick pass to Schultz. Change up, come on. Look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. Lee's got it against the boards. Fires up and scores from Coquitlam, BC with love, Matt Marcel. He's not happy with this goal, James. It looks like he thought he was sealed to the post, but there was just enough room to let that puck slide by. New 
York's hard work pays off as they get on the board first here tonight. Yeah, getting on the board first over halfway through the first period. And, you know, there has been much going on here in this game. It's been back and forth, but it's starting to open up with this first goal. Got to hope that there's some more offense in this one. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Looks to make a play over to Barcel. The Islanders take it along the wall. Stoles him in front. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Islanders have taken a 1-0 lead. Dunn's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to McCann. Quick feed down low. From behind the net. Quick feed to McCann. And now it's turned away. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Slides it quickly to Clutterbuck. Long pass into the neutral zone. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. New York's gained possession along the boards. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Grubauer's gonna hang on for a whistle. Winberg's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Borgen's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Peugeot. New York's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks. They've had great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And that's off target as it hits a body. Moves it to Everly. Moves it on over to Burakovsky. Here's a chance. Turned aside with a glove by Barlamov. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Islanders lead it 1-0. New York's won the defensive zone draw. Moves the puck. Great glove save! And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Off the face off, they take the puck. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. Picks off the pass. And a stick break setup. And he slides it quickly to Paul Mary. Fires it into the offensive zone. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Slides it over to McCann. And a little physicality ends that threat. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Here in the back half of this period, 1-0 the score. New York's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Ozone face-off, James. Critical time to gain possession with that clean win. And with a tired group, they get that puck moving around and a real opportunity on net. Dishes it to Martin. New York's crossed the line and on the attack. Big save. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. On the attack along the boards. New York's got the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Martin. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And a good save on the play as action continues. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Blocked away by Varlamov. 
Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Gets it back. Tanev's got the puck. Oh, a monstrous hit in the corner there. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Dobson. Oh, textbook hook check to turn that over. The Kraken have the puck in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Pellet. Fires it on net. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Lee's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Yamamoto's picking up steam. Let's get the call. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty. So now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play's going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they've got to be the task. Great reach with the poke check by McCann. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Bjorkstrand's carrying it ahead. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Bjorkstrand's got it along the boards. There's a shot. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James. And that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Sisnik is just ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Paneers wins it. Slides the puck ahead to Schwartz. Quick pass to Schultz. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? Seattle's won the draw. Along the half wall with the puck. And he comes up with a stop there. Well past the midway mark of this period. New York's ahead, 1-0. Paneers wins the draw. They'll look to set up here offensively. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Sasekis gets set for the faceoff here as they will continue to play shorthanded. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Love save and an easy one at that. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to trap and find the puck. That's without working your opponent and finding a way to make the save. New York's won the face-off deep in their own end. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. approach came on the power play where they knew how to hound it and retrieve it and guess what they're rewarded for their efforts power play strikes james and that's excellent movement along the perimeter and just waiting for your time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute that's a great slot shot here in the late going of the frame you can feel the energy in this crowd it's a tie game Marcel's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Here's a chance to score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. We can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down.
The Islanders have put themselves in the enviable position of playing with the lead, Cheryl. Uh, you always rather be ahead when you it's the best place to be, but you want to extend that lead. You want to have a, an ability to play a little more comfortable, James. You got to stay aggressive, you got to manage the puck, and you got to look to attack the net. And it's a quick pass to Julian. Oh, a clutch save! Scooped up along the wall by the ears. And that's blocked. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. And loses possession after a solid hit. Rocked him in the open ice. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Put it in front. And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game. And you got to fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Schultz setting up against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Schwartz. From the blue line, they take control of it. Way too much congestion blocks that. Takes it to the front. Tremendous stop by Grubauer. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. In the final moments of this period, the Islanders are looking to build on this one goal lead. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Thompson. Gives him a troll with that hit. Seattle's got it from behind the net. Quick feed to Schwartz. How did he stop that one? Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Seattle's hoping to even things up before this first intermission. They've had plenty of chances, but they still trail. And they win the draw on their own end. Moves it to Larson. Here he is, takes the shot. Oh, what a save in front. Holstrom's taking it from his own end. That knocks him off the puck. And he takes the feed. Martin's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. I'm going to guess that he's going to look to drive the net and shoot the puck, given that he's one goal away from his next milestone. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. is ranked toward the bottom of the league. But that's not for us to remind them of. That's the coach's job. They've got a huge opportunity here. We know they've been working hard. Let's see if they can put that work to the test. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that's blocked away. Puck scooped up by Paul Mary. The Islanders carry it along the wall. Turns that one away. A center chance. Another pass. Dishes it off again here. Great defensive effort with the strip. And the puck leaves the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Winding down the puck. Oh, a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grant Larson, E. James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. 27 seconds on the clock. Boards ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Tries to get it over to Lee. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And that caroms off a body in traffic. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. A lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice. And period number two is about set to go. 
The Islanders take possession and their man advantage. You know, won't have a lot of time to work with here. Scores! And there it is! The power play goal lights the lamp! Well, they don't ask how it goes in, James, just if it goes in. But this is one of those goals that's all about the effort areas, the hard work and the timing to get to the rebound first. New York's now taking a two-goal lead here in the second. Well, that's a huge goal. That's going to give them a two-goal cushion. You can see the excitement on the bench right now. That's all it takes to have an impact. They put it in the net. Now they can take a deep breath and go play with creativity. Still keeps a hold of it. Puck picked up by Lee. Rocked him. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Lee. Seattle's looking to break out of their own end. Bjorkstrand's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the official's decision. Lee's been nabbed for tripping. formation, James, really like that high umbrella where you're using the top of the offensive zone to work some magic, leave some as you move the coverage around, and once you get them running, that's where you can open up your lanes and attack the net. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Picked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And it's kicked away. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. McCann's crossed the line and gained the zone. New York's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Martin. Campbell's on the poke check and pays off. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Seattle's trailing by one. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Loses his balance on the play. Holmstrom's lugging the puck. Smart defensive play there. Taken along the wall by Dunn. Takes the feed from his netminder. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Sisikis works the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Holmstrom. Picked up along the wall by Tanev. Seattle's on the attack. Oh, what a save by Varlamov. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Pelic's known for doing his best work in the defensive zone. Guys, his stick-em-up zone ability, it's what allows him to make great use of his stick checking to defend his own end of the ice. Barlamov's going to hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Oh, and the goalie catches a break there. Moves it to Lee. 
with possession along the wall. From point blank range. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. New York's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Seattle's looking to break out. Quick pass over to Tanev. Puts it on net, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Lee's hauled down, penalty on the way. Quick pass to Pellet. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Picked up along the boards by Palmieri. And that goes off a of body. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PK. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Great pressure with the stick. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, turns it aside once again. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Lee. Scooped up along the wall by Barzell. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Puck slid down the ice. Pulak's got it now deep inside his own end. Gains the zone along the right wall. And he comes up with it. Great reflexes, another save. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he takes the pass. Oh, what a stop by Grubauer. New York's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. The Islanders cross the blue line and are on the attack. Grabbed along the board by Engvall. The Islanders going to work on offense. And a nice save there as play continues. Veneers hoping for some puck luck here on this faceoff as they continue to play shorthanded. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Looking to clear the defensive zone. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. The Kraken have the puck while under man. That's a solid trick on the play. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Quick pass to Tanev. Denies him! In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Takes a shot. Makes the save. Cool and calm under pressure. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. New York's got a 3-2 lead at this point. The Islanders win the draw. Handles the pass. Taken by Romanov. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes the feed. Carries the puck up through center. Takes the feed at the back end. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Varlamov. Here's the pass, and he denies that great opportunity there. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as the face-off is ready to go. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Musa quickly over to Martin. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Quick feed to Romanov. Sends the pass in front, and that shot's blocked. Drew 
Dumoulin's got the puck in his own zone. Now a quick pass to Tolvin and all alone! Scores! Puts it in the back of the net and that's how you light the lamp! He lights the lamp as he buries that one, James, but he knows he has confidence and he shows just that in that battle. Execution, that's how you do it. Great play from start to finish as he executes with some great speed to break away from the pack. And then it's all about the execution. When you're one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, you bring yourself back to your practice days and you use your move. Past the midway mark in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Seattle's won the draw in the neutral zone. Shot. Here's a shot! Anderson Club save on the play. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Winberg's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Scores! And it's a hat trick! I think that means one, two, three, doesn't it, James? He fills the net a multiple times because he's in and around it. Sometimes you have those kind of days where nothing can go wrong. Tonight's is. This is a great power play goal, James. They have the execution in terms of their passing along the outside, and then they attack the net with a shot. You have to have net front presence and create a screen. That's exactly what they have, and they capitalize as a result. New York's gone up by one here in the second period, and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice, and coughs up the puck. New York's got it along the wall. Moves it to Paul Mary. The Islanders take it along the wall. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Tolvanen. Moves the puck down low and reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Scrum ensues along the boards. New York's got possession of the puck. Here's a shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. Unloads one. Oh, excellent play and goal there. And some good footwork to kick it away. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Seattle's got the puck against the half wall. Unable to reach that one. The Islanders move it ahead. Quick shot. Can't get it to go. Moves it to Veneers. Seattle's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Veneers. Seattle's ready to go on the attack. Nice poke check. Directed over to Schultz. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. Moves the puck along the half wall. And he slides it quickly to Romanov. And now he tries to get it across to Everly. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Martin. Shot! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Grubauer! Past the midway mark of the frame. New York's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Sisikis has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. Answered the call there. Takes the pass. Cut into the club by Grubauer. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. The Islanders have had a lot of jump in their steps since the drop of the puck in this one, and they lead it here in this second period. Sasekis has won the draw. They'll go to work offensively. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and another big stop. I'm not sure if anyone's 
helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Quick pass to Gore. Trying to get back on the attack now. Looks to get the puck over to Sezikis. Quick feed to Pullock. Taken along the wall by Holmstrom. Poked away at center by Schwartz. Takes the feed from the left side. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Whips it. Oh, wow, another great stop. He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Horgan's got it in the defensive end. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. They've got numbers here. He scores! Number one on the season. That's got to feel good. You know that you're setting yourself up for the rest of the season. You always going to get off to a good start, and there's no better way than getting your first goal. Well, this is just an incredible move on the breakaway, James. No panic at all. A ton of patience and composure with the puck. Just out waiting the goaltender to make the first move and then putting it in the back of the net. The Islanders extend the lead to two here as they get closer and closer to intermission, Cheryl. Great timing to go up by two. You've dictated the play. You're coming into the end of the second period, and you find a way to get another. Now, right off of this face-off, they'll really want to set the tone and keep their opponent on their heels. New York's gained possession along the boards. Yamamoto's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. Here he is with the backhander. Denied by Varlamov. Here comes the official's call. The Islanders are getting penalized for slashing. Another chance here on the man advantage. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the places to attack is. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Bjorkstrand's gonna play it against the half wall. And that's a great hits up play by Pellick. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Bjorkstrand. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. The Kraken have the puck in the defensive zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. From the point, looks to make something happen. Gets in front of it. Marlamov's been really sharp tonight, James, and just have a look at his save percentage, and he's making the stop that he needs to. The man, his team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Passes the puck over to Bjorkstrand. Moves into the slot. Decides to think about it. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You're taking your third penalty of the period. You gotta kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. A huge opportunity for the power play unit here. On the five on three as we get set to drop the ball. On a five on three with all that ice available and the defensive coverage in the middle of the ice, you have to find a way to pull them outside just a little bit. Sometimes a shot does that. What it does, they react to the shot and the rebound. Guess what? Open lanes. Centering P, and that's stuck. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And let's see what the call is. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They've got to find a way to play even strength. What an opportunity here for the man advantage unit. It's a five on three with plenty of time to work. What an opportunity, a long five on three here, and this can turn the momentum. Switch it.
got one back now. Can they build on this from here? They need to build on it. This is an emotional goal as the second period is coming to an end, and they have to find a way to continue this momentum and build on top of it as they hit the third. Gets it over to McCann. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Moves it to Bjorkstrand. Here's a shot. Oh, what a close save. Wow. What an incredible save in the high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Another big face off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. They take possession as he locks them up. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. Seattle's equalizer comes on a lot of hard work here in period number two. The coach will be happy with this performance, the pushback, the fight to claw their way back in late in the second, and this will set them up nicely for the third. Clutterbucks gain possession inside the neutral zone. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Steps inside the line. New York's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And they manage to clear it. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, this is such an obvious call for the official undisciplined. Once the arms extend, you're going to get the cross checking call. here on the face-off and try to continue this power play on the right note. New York's got it in the defensive zone. Trying to get it out of the own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. And the puck leaves the zone. Sends the pass over. the horn two periods down a third period to go stick around and join us for the drama next welcome back to ea sports the final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three seattle's won the opening face off and their power play continues Easy save by Barlama. Pass back to the point. And now it's grabbed by Bjorkstrand. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Here's a short pass to Dunn. And now it's to Burakovsky. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Bjorkstrand. Sisikis is out of the box, and they'll try to continue to kill off this penalty. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. Gets it out of his own end. Time ticking away here on this man advantage. Keeping it simple. And He's got a step, and that's broken up. Oh, James, he thought he had that one. He used his speed to get that breakaway. And Break away. Oh, to the eyes of the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. 
Clutterbuck's almost back on the ice. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Dang, yeah, dang, and that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Cutting to the slot. Shot wide to the net. He missed. Oh, man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. Can't keep a hold of it. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Long pass up ahead to center. Trovenin's already got three points in this game, James. Really leading the way. Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. Let's see what the officials are calling. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Seattle's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, so much about power play execution, what we're seeing tonight with their success is about working on it in practice, repetition, success, and it is certainly translated to the game tonight. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Grubauer's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. New York's won it, now they'll go on the attack. The Kraken have the puck in their own end. Oh, yeah. All alone! Body oh, can't pull the trigger on the play. Well, it's because he skated himself into no man's land, ran out of real estate and gets nothing for it. Think he'd like that one back. Barzell's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. McCann's won the draw and they're on the attack. Tries to feed it over to Ajo. Slides the puck across to Marcel. Takes a shot. Makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Quick shot. Denies him on the play. Slides it over with pace to Dunn. Great poke check on the reach. McCann's got the puck. Quick pass to Everly. Fires it. Blocked in traffic. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. The Islanders are across the line and into the offensive end. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. That's a tough one to take, James. I mean, you're in a power play. It's a tie game. You have to manage the puck and you have to create scoring chances, not give them up. New York's on their way to victory if they can hold down this lead through the rest of the third. Well, it's all about game management, but they can't just sit back and hold on. Otherwise, their opponent, they will look to attack and they will take advantage. Put them back on their heels. Be in the offensive zone where they can't get an opportunity to attack you. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. Shot! That's so good. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. Oh, it's a fail on that clearing attempt as it's kept in. Well, that won't keep you on the PK, that's for sure, James. The coach wants that puck out, and it's on your stick. You gotta make sure that it... So we are tied after that power play mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has the most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage, and the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Seattle's won the draw in the neutral zone. Quick pass across to Tobin. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Taken by Dobson. Quick feed to Palmieri. Poked away in the neutral zone. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Tosses it to Enval. Steps inside and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Here's a shot. Oh, he made the save. 
sweep. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Tanev's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Nice zone entry from the middle. New York's got it against the boards. Fires it. Just gets enough to keep it out. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Veneers wins possession in the defensive zone. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Puck picked up by Everly. And that's off a stick. And that's offside stopping the play. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Veneers has won it here at center. And that puck leaves the zone. Picked up along the wall by Schultz. Seattle's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Veneers. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Whistle blows, stopping the play. And the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. There are many days when you don't feel that way, so you got to really enjoy these ones. Let's it fly! What a club seat by Parlamov! Veneers will look to win the draw to continue this power play. New York's taking possession in their own end. Seattle's got a hold of the puck now. Slides it across to Veneers. Here's a chance! There's a great save on an excellent chance there! Picked up along the boards by Schwartz. Takes a shot! Well saved made by Barlama. Goaltender covers up, we got a stoppage in play. Sasekis and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. New York's won the face-off deep in their own end. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Seattle's got the puck. Sends it quickly to McCann. He carries the puck up along the wing. The Islanders gain possession of the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. Reaches out and uses the stick. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. Puck leaves the zone on the bad pass, and they'll be forced to regroup. And he makes the save on that play. Trying to clear, and the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Misses a golden opportunity there. Pinned up along the boards. Jostled off the puck. Denies him in close. Well, if they're going to do something with this man advantage, now's the time. They don't have the luxury of time, James. They have to be urgent and get the puck up ice. Big time stop. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. A really tough night for the PK. And when you're struggling, you're back on your heels. And you can be deflated and shows in the body language. But you know what? Get you lifted? A good PK, a blocked shot. They need to find ways to get into those shot lanes. 
Here's a chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Canucks are in the on-deck circle on the schedule. And I'll tell you what, it's a big game for both teams coming up. And that'll be a good one. I hope you'll be there. You know we will. Zizekas wins the offensive zone face-off. And here we go. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Oh, what a slick stop by Grubauer. Seattle's got him along the wall. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Everly's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Fires it on net. Oh, how did you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got it. He's got a step. Oh, I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. Sends it in deep. Seattle's got the puck along the boards. Slides it diagonally to Schwartz. He got all of that hit. Puck grabbed by Paul Mary. And now it's over to Barzell. And that's picked up by Schwartz. Here's a shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Varlamov. Moves it to Tanev. Gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Denies it in front. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, the B players are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. They gotta figure out a way to stay out of the box. They'll go back to work on their special teams. When a power play is executing and it feels right, everyone is clicking. The chemistry just looks like it's synergized, and this team, they're on fire right now. And a successful clearing attempt. There's a shot! Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. The Islanders win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Mayfield. They put the puck into the offensive end. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Pichon. Bjorkstrand stick handling in his own zone. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And it's a quick pass to Burakovsky. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Seattle's gained possession. McCann's got it along the wing. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Here's a short pass to Pasho. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Denies him with the pad. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Let's see the call here. Well, he's frustrated with this call, and he's going to argue it with the official, but guess what? It's going to be a call. It's not getting changed. Carlin Bay is standing by with her answer to the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Carlin? Barzell's a great player when he gets engaged, and he has been that tonight with the offensive side of his game. I've been impressed with his performance. Quick pass to Tolman, and... And down he goes as the puck goes free. Sends a pass over. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes a shot with the stop. Seattle's got a hold of it against the wall. Penalty expires, and the PP unit gets set to go to work. Stops him with a glove! Skaters go off for a line change here on this power play. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Pass to Pullock. New York's on the attack. And now it's grabbed by Pullock. Scores! Putting the special in special teams, they take the lead. And often when you're on special teams, James, it can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution.
New York's got to feel like they've got some extra energy now with that one goal lead here in the third. Well, you can see the finish line, but you're not there yet. So you got to make sure that you continue to press, James. You got to close quickly on your opponent when they have the puck. Don't give them an inch in all three zones. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. And now he moves it quickly to Paul Mary. Great reach with the poke check. The Islanders' top line has been so impressive coming onto the ice right now, midway through this third period. You know that they're so tough to defend. They skate well, and they love to shoot the puck. New York's got possession of the puck. Taken by Barzell. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Things start to get a little physical out there. Quick feed to Tolman. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Quick feed to Nelson. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Well, you're leading late in the game. You've got to find a way to kill the clock. You know what the best thing is to do? Make sure it's not in your zone. That takes the pressure off, and that's a smart jump right there. Knocked away. Now a quick pass to Engvall. With possession along the wall. Denied by the goaltender. Grubauer's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. The Islanders haven't stopped putting pucks on net, and they lead it here late in the third. Nice job tying up his opponent. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Everly's got it along the boards. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Throws it on goal. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Takes the feed. The Kraken have the puck in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Veneers. Sends it in front. And that's stopped. And he slides it quickly to Borgen. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And he missed. He missed the net. What a chance. Well, he had such a glorious chance, James. And I think that he saw the best goal. They've tied it up. They have tied it up here with a big time goal in the third. Well, they couldn't have waited much longer there, James. They're running out of runway, but they found a way to get it done. you got to come up big at the right moment and brace the pressure. And that's exactly what they did. Anytime you're in the grade A scoring chances and you're funneled tight to the net, you want to make sure you get a quick release shot off. There's coverage there. It's all about accuracy at that point, and he doesn't miss. The Kraken have new life, but at the other end, I think they may have just deflated the other team. Yeah, and if I had to pick a team right now to win this game, it would be them because of the timing and nature of that goal. Handles the puck. The Islanders looking against the hot wall. Denies the shooter on that play. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Shot! And that's blocked from someone in front. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Seattle's looking to break out. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Peugeot. Moves it to Pellet. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Slides the puck to Engvall. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Fans calling for a shot before it's too late. Here's the pass. And he shuts down it. Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal. And how good does that feel? You can see the jelly. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. On the dying seconds of the third, they're able to capitalize on an opportunity, James. But I thought that throughout this third period, there was a ton of urgency and push to get that goal. New York's been on a roll offensively tonight. Lots of chances, and they lead it late in this third. And that's all she wrote from this one tonight. Marcel's hat trick, the big difference tonight. Probably got himself a few new hats as well there, Cheryl. What a performance to put three goals past the tender at this level is certainly a feat, James. But every time the puck is on his stick, he knows exactly what to do with it. And that lethal shot, it was on display tonight. Well, that brings the night to an end. And we will say goodbye here from rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I got to get to bed. See ya.